Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening uh, to everyone. Bless your hearts for joining the South Pacific Global Watch call. And Cherie is going to be leading us. And it is 6 a.m. in Jerusalem time. And we bless Israel in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. And, um, and yes, it's great to be together again. And so, Cherie, we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus with his Thank great you. insight, revelation, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and his love. Amen. Over to you, Cherie. Thank you. Well, I have to attribute this morning, or whenever you are, <laughs> To my husband, he's been the one doing all the research, just looking at what's happening at the moment in the South Pacific. This is the, the South Pacific Watch um, now. And he found out that the Commonwealth Heads of Government are meeting in Rwanda in Africa right now. And that obviously includes quite a number of the Pacific Islands. Um, there's Australia, Fiji, Kiribati, Murai, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Tonga, Tuvalu, I'm not sure if I said that one right, and Vanuatu. So they're actually all part of this um, Commonwealth meeting that's happening in Rwanda at the moment. It starts, um, oh, okay. So, oh, that goes from the 20th to the 25th. So um, I guess they've already been meeting for a couple of days, but obviously it's, it's still in progress at the moment. And the other thing that's happening at the moment, totally separate from governmental meetings to um, uh, football. <laughs> so there's actually uh, football meetings at the moment that are also against the Pacific Islanders so that the Pacific Islands have major football events and don't ask me what kind of football because he didn't notice it here it's probably rugby because that's rugby is kind of popular in and across the, the islands and they can get quite fired up um, over the the different rugby games so I think for me when I kind of think about rugby games and when they come together it's kind of like, oh yeah, it's just rugby and I personally don't care about football. <laughs> My husband's very passionate about it. But I'm aware like even within Australia, when you have the grand finals for rugby, it's actually often the days of the highest domestic violence because you know the, the families get so worked up. And so I just feel like often in these spaces where we just kind of go, oh, it's just entertainment but there's often a lot of drinking and stuff that goes on and it very much, you know, affects the families. Um, so they, anyway, they've got on the 25th, which is, I don't know what is the day it is today, it's like today, in two days. Uh, New Zealand are playing Tonga. Samoa, I think is. I think I need a gift of interpretation to interpret his writing here. He's playing the Cook Islands and P PNG is versing Fiji. So there's quite a number of, you know, countries versing each other. But so there's that whole aspect of sports and entertainment area in that zone. But I think to me also the families, that the families stay protected, you know, in those spaces that, um, you know, the loose, often it's, it'll be the losing teams that, you know, the parents go home and they're not in their right mind and takes down the children. Um, and I think the other area which probably hooks a little bit back up to the meetings is just the whole, you know, the ongoing political struggle with China, um, that they're still... <clears throat> They're still seeking more sea fishing rights into the area. And that might be, I know they've kind of come in with the big overt, you know, we want to help you with your police force. But some of the kind of more not so overt ways of, of shifting into the, the spaces is through fishing rights. So when they sign up fishing rights deals with those little countries, obviously 
China's a massive country and can tend to use a lot of their resources, which they then don't have for their own islands. And so right now there's already agreements in the fishing world with Fiji, Tonga, Samoa, Van Vanuatu, and now they're trying to get more or bigger ones with Kiribati and the Solomon Islands. So again, they're just different things that are, I guess, aware are yet to be aware of. So that was kind of the the different things that I guess that are, are going on. So there's the political stuff, there's the meetings in Rwanda, Africa, which I think are key issues, some of the issues that um, they're looking at, or I think one of the issues that's kind of most uh, on their hearts is, um, is the climate warming. You know? I know that's kind of a, a popular, you know, modern day kind of concern, but I think for the islands, it's, it's higher on their agenda because they're islands. And as sea water rises, obviously their land, more of their land will disappear. So it's, it is an important issue for them. Um, and I think that's one of the, the focus issues that's being talked about at this, um, these meetings. Um, oh yeah, so it's the call for strengthening global support for ocean and climate changes. So that's what these meetings in Africa are a lot about. And I think uh, Ray was also mentioning that they have like a sub smaller countries meeting together, which is a lot of the Pacific islands together with the Caribbean islands, just coming together, looking at how they can um, help these issues. Because, you know, even as a small country, you could make a lot of changes, but if the big countries don't jump in, it's not gonna be very sustainable for them. So I think they're the different things. I don't know if you guys have any questions or anything else that's kind of come up that you think is important as part of this time of prayer. Okay, so Alison, I'm just wondering if we can do the song. I can't actually see how many are on, so I can't see how many groups there would be. Sorry, because I'm on my iPad. 20, 26 um, are on. Yeah, so we could do. I have a question, Sheree. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, you, you did say it, but I'm just trying to get it clear in my head. Um, with the fishing rights, did you say that Fiji, Tonga, and Samoa? have already signed an agreement or that is that agreement waiting to be signed? Apparently they already have them. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's from a back what, door in see. China. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Would you like about four groups, Cherie? Yeah. 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 And I, I was wondering if we with the groups, if group one and two can particularly pray into the the Commonwealth and the the fishing, I feel like that's kind of together because it's the governmental spaces. And then if the groups three and four can pray into the whole um football's families, that area. Obviously if you feel like the Lord leads you into the other spaces, that's that's fine, but that'd be cool. So um, yeah, just Alison's gonna put on a song for us since I can't do it from my iPad very well. Um, uh, sorry. Would you like me to play the whole lot? It's um, about 15 minutes, I think. So what do you want Yeah, me that's to fine, because I feel like as as we pray, as we do the song, if you can just be listening to the Lord for what it is that he has um, to be praying into. So yeah, just using the song as also a time of listening to him and what he wants to speak into these areas. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Alison. Okay. Okay, amen to that, right? <laughs> He's worthy. 
He's worthy of all the worship, all our worship, all the worship from the islands. So just as we we keep him in that place of honor and worship, let's just um, go into um, the breakout groups now. We'll just pray for 20 minutes. So pick a scribe who can um, feed back to the group when we come back and just share what the Lord was speaking from each of the groups. So if you could pop us into those groups, Alice, and that would be awesome. Okay, we should have everyone back now. I'm just uh, wondering if we could just have a some feedback from each of the groups. So maybe group one, if you guys can be first. Margaret, that's you. We were we were room one. Yeah. I was talking. I'm sorry, guys. I had it muted. Sorry. Please forgive me. Uh, <laughs> um, we prayed for Rwanda, and um, it was mentioned by Gail that a lot of the refugees are from Iran and Syria and Turkey. Turkey mm -hmm. didn't want them, and England didn't want them. So they're sort of in limbo, so to speak. Um, and we prayed for the, uh, the leaders of this conference um, and it was said that there's been a shift in the South Pacific and that uh, Jenny mentioned that Penny Wong is doing a good job and I think she has been there three times talking to the different authorities about the situation and that we're seeing answers to prayer and they, Jenny said there has been a shift in our prayers which is good and um, I think, and, and it was said that um, God is bringing China into this to wake up Australia. And um, that guy said that, sorry, Penny Wong is doing an excellent job. Um, um, in religion in China, excuse me for not saying any part of um, we, we pray for a wonder, the atrocities that are happening there. And we pray for God to come to the center of the meeting um there's been a fear of god pray that there would be a fear of god on um each part um and we prayed for the um the loyal ones at the meeting and that they would have courage and boldness and that god's name would be uh, glorified in all of this um and that god would put a put a barrier around the meeting and uh, for a restraining order against the CCP and we pray for divine appointments and then we pray for um, that was the first half and then we pray for the fishing rights um, Jenny mentioned Israel Sabia is staying at Kingsgate Haven and that the villagers he said to Jenny that the villagers are not getting the food source the right food source at all so, um, and the people are suffering over there because of all of this. And there's been a lot of bribery uh, to do with the nations there and the fishing rights to be given back to the people who paid for that. Um, and also we prayed that the, the Heavenly Father would cause the fish to be hidden from view from all the, the Chinese that they would be hidden from view in the waters. I quoted I quote Psalm 29 from 3 three and four. Then we prayed for the Chinese to go to other areas. Um, and also that Jenny mentioned um, in the global area, the amount of fish is diminishing. And in Kangaroo Island, they've been finding plastic in the fish and it has it does affect our brains. And she mentioned Andrew Forrest and others and the efforts uh, being successful in what they're doing and asking for justice. Okay, that was all. Right, thank you. Okay, group two, that's my group, so Diana. All right, well, Heather uh, prayed for success for the conference. <clears throat> she mentioned climate change, <clears throat> that, that <clears throat> the right things would be done there and stated that, uh, well, I can't remember exactly what she said, but that was prayed for. Um, but that they, they would stand for truth. Law and order would prevail in this conference. Um, Joe prayed for Rwanda uh, for the genocide again. That genocide. Um, that the tribal wars. There've been many tribal wars there in the past, but that has changed, and we pray that it would change 
more. Um, she also prayed for common sense in, the, in this. And I think that was quite a theme. Um, several prayed for common sense, wisdom and truth against unrealism um, over there, that the things that they decide would be totally suitable and realistic uh, in, contra in contrast to unrealistic. Cherie also prayed for truth, realism again, and truth. She prayed for uh, that there would be no idealism, that there would be good stewardship um, and goodness, <clears throat> that all your ideas, Lord, would prevail. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, willingness to listen to you, Lord. And now Frederick did pray, and I'm not quite sure whether he prayed this, but Lord, we just bundled it all together that everyone prayed um, that there would be willingness to listen to you and uh, that the Rwanda meeting will be a blessing to the whole earth. And Heather also prayed for Isaiah 11, that the spirit of wisdom, righteousness, justice, etc., the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon this whole meeting, the spirit of counsel and might and the spirit of knowledge and the, the fear of the Lord. We thank you and praise you, Father, that you're hearing everyone's prayers this morning or this afternoon. Amen. Thank you, Diana. Uh, group three. I was Cherie, um, mainly for the footballers and their families, but there's, uh, at the moment, there's a, um, I guess you could call it a football carnival on the Marianas Islands. Um, I'm, did I say that right, Wendy? I'm not sure. Anyway, where the, uh, a whole lot of the island teams have come together to play each other. <clears throat> and we just prayed that he, he, the players would be revived in their faith and that, um, that, that the Holy Spirit will do just a wonderful work in them to the point where, again, um, many perhaps really good players would be raised up, the Lord would raise them up as role models. Um, and um, yeah, this would sort of filter on down where there wouldn't be uh, as much a disappointment perhaps when teams lose, obviously when the team wins it's hunky-dory but when they lose it's uh, that's when they get depressed and um, miserable and also Wendy prayed that um, she thought that Tonga won a uh, competition recently the soccer medal um, and they uh, the, the actual team before they went out to play or when they're on the field before they started playing they got down and prayed and gave the match to the Lord and uh, yeah, but mainly the thing was that the Lord would um, use that as a witness and that he would raise up more role models, that the others would see, um, uh, yeah, the faith of those playing and be encouraged and be revived within themselves. I think that was about it. Have I missed anything, Wendy or Jacqueline? I think we need to also, give some space for the other teams. Okay, sorry. No, it's okay. What was that? Sorry. I was just say we've not got much time left, so I just want to give some space for the two other groups sure. to be able to share. So if group four, if you could just add, like if we've already covered it, that's fine. Just um, add anything else you maybe sensed while you are praying. So group four. I don't know. Should I um, do group four? Um, I was just going to say many of the things that were prayed, um, we also prayed for um, in repentance for the idolatry and the whole issue across the board, whether of the South Pacific nations, our hearts, not giving glory and honor to God, whether it's in climate, in creation, the whole gods of football, of mammon, of going to China and looking to powerful people and all, all of the things that the people of Israel did when they kept breaking covenant with God and not hearing and listening to him. So we called us back to the wonderful scripture of Malachi 1.11, which is basically from the South Pacific nations in the middle of God getting very upset about the idolatry of his people Israel and the false priesthood. 
he he said for from the rising of the sun even to its going down my name shall be great among the gentiles so we called this forth in every place incense shall be offered to my name and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the nations says the lord of hosts and we call forth the young people to get sick of all this rubbish and to start really hungering and thirsting for truth and for righteousness. And uh, I just had a flash of seeing their faces full of joy and, and praise. And just like the wonderful worship we just enjoyed. And this, this song of worship coming forth from the islands in place of all this other stuff in Jesus' name. And, and Shoshana prayed a wonderful prayers for the healing of the hearts and also for the healing of the hearts for the people in Rwanda and the breaking of the, the curses. And also there's the issue of the Commonwealth blessing that the queen made the coronation oath in 53. And I'm praying that in um, next year, 2023, that's the 70 years and the 50 year Jubilee since Gough Whitlam destroyed the crown um, seal in the parliament that God will do a jubilee restoration back to what he intended for this region in the first place for his redemption in Jesus name Amen thank you Hilary and group 5 do we have a spokesperson for group 5 I can do that Cherie um, we okay opened up just blessing the nations the south pacific nations into their callings and we prayed that they would be strengthened in their identities um we prayed that a spirit of boldness would be poured out upon them as they meet with um other dignitaries like the chinese dignitaries um we pr um prayed um we repented um for the way that we have actually um, desecrated the environment um, and not acknowledged um, uh, Yahweh as the creator. Um, and we, um, we acknowledge that um, Christ, he held everything together. Um, we uh, prayed that a, a spirit of fear that would not, they would not overcome the nations. Um, and we prayed, um, we also prayed that um, the sports would be used to glorify Yahweh's name and to advance his kingdom. Thank you, Sheree. Cool. Thank you. All right. Well, Molly, you want to pray us out today? I came at the last minute, so I will, <laughs> you still want to, but. Otherwise, Father, I just want to, Lord, we just want to bless your holy name. We want to lift the name of Jesus. We thank you that where your name is lifted, you will draw all men unto you. Whether they are football games, whether conference, any gathering, Lord, and, and so rightfully, Lord, as uh, Hillary read that scripture, the name from the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of Yahweh, let Hashem be glorified. And so, Lord, we thank you for this time together. Thank you for every prayer that's gone into the bowls of intercession. We thank you that your heart is for our the islands that you have called by your name and for your people. Thank you for the unity of the spirit of faith and love that is bringing your body together, bringing us into the strength of the spirit in you. Lord Jesus, thank you that you're doing a new thing. Thank you that you are empowering your church and by your spirit, Lord, bringing forth the kingdom of God, advancing and giving glory. We thank you, Lord, that you have dealt with the enemy. Lord, you, you have won the victory on the cross. We, the ecclesia, the royal priesthood, rise up and agree and declare that if one can put a thousand to flee, together we push back the many thousands, God, that would try to come against the work of the Lord. So we bless you today, Yahweh, and bless everyone on this call, their families. And we deeply honor Jenny, our Lord, and Shiri, and for the house of prayer, and, and Allison, and every sister and brother on this call. 
and their families. Cover us, Lord, with the mighty angels and the decree of Psalm 91. We thank you for the anointing and the presence of the beautiful one, Yeshua. In mighty name we ask, amen. Amen. Thank you, Maui, and thank you everyone else for joining us and have a blessed month and see you next month. See you later. Okay. Bye. 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 Bless you. Bless you, everyone. Bye-bye.